So today, I'm sure you know what we're going to do um, because you read the title, you clicked on it, you thought, yeah, I'm going to watch this video, but let's pretend that you don't know what we're going to do. Um, we're going to do something completely new, never done before by any guitar YouTube channel, completely groundbreaking and new. We're going to check out and unbox, well, I'm going to unbox and check out uh, this guitar from Glary. And just so you know, I bought this guitar. Glary didn't send it out, um, obviously, because I have a YouTube channel with like five subscribers, which you could very well be one of. And if you are, thank you. And if you're not, um, feel free to join this very exclusive club by clicking that subscribe button, which is a call to action in YouTube land, apparently. All right, so I've got my blunt scissors, luckily. Um, I've got my box. It's a very light box. I don't know why I made it sound heavy then. This, it is a very light box. I was just being overly dramatic because of the camera and stuff. Um, so we're going to open the box. Sorry if that was really loud. Uh, let's see what's inside. Hopefully, Larry. Hopefully a PRS, but... You would have thought I'd be used to opening boxes by now. Oh, this is nice. Lots of polystyrene. Good. Good. Ah, it's all going wrong. The table's moving. All right, the box in the corner. Ah, oh, no. Polystyrene, fun. Good, 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 good. So I need to get the hoover out. Okay, so. So let's leave the guitar for a minute. Um, we have a gig bag. Great quality gig bag. No, it's more of a dust cover gig bag, but that's what you expect really. And if you're a beginner, just, uh, I don't know what I was gonna say then. If you're a beginner, you're a beginner. You do, you get a strap, which is, which is not too bad by the looks of it. Oh, and plectrum which is, no, you won't be able to see it, but it's uh, probably like a point, point 0.6 or something. Not for me. A nice strap. I mean, I'll use the word nice. Uh, a strap, it's fine. Until you get a strap, it'll be fine. Not the longest strap. Can't really see it too well. These are very flimsy, like you could probably tear. You could definitely tear this, which is something I've never seen before in a strap. It's all right for beginners and just whatever. And in here, you've got an Allen key for your truss rod, uh, Allen key for the bridge saddles, tremolo bar, out of tune bar, and a horrible, horrible uh, jack to jack. But if you don't have a jack to jack and you're a beginner, just, just use it, it's fine. You won't even notice the difference. Is there anything else? There is, what's this? Ah, catalog. Products for Music Dream. Everyone can afford. Bit presumptuous. Why choose Glary? Well, we're about to find out. Or why not to choose Glary? There's a fly in here. Oh, he wants to get out. Well, we've heard a lot about Glary, haven't we, Fro? YouTube thing, plastic band off. Am I gonna be able to take this off all in one? Oh, okay. Making a lot of noises today. Okay. Look at that, you get to see it before I do. Pretty noisy. It's not your traditional 60 cycle hum. Ugh. Well, that's nice. There's no sharp fret ends or fret sprout. I don't, I've never really experienced fret sprout, uh, blah, fret sprout here, um, but definitely no sharp fret ends, which is nice. I mean, I feel horrible. Ugh. Nasty. But we'll polish them up and they'll be fine. I mean, it looks good on camera. Don't you think? Okay, these needs to be tightened because apparently they're falling out, the strap blocks, so this one's tight. Let's see the tuners. Let's look at the nut, ooh. 
and that looks pretty high. It's not rounded off at the edges at all. It's very squared off. So it kind of cuts you, cuts into your finger. Not cuts, but digs into your fingers down this end. It's not very comfortable, but you can round them off with a bit of sandpaper. It'll be all right. Mech is, you know, sort of that unfinished kind of feeling, which I, I do prefer. Looks like the pots have all been put in at different heights. The volume and the first tone pot kind of sit quite a bit higher, so you'd have to take the washers off and the um, the nuts and adjust them if you want to, if you can be bothered. I, I'm not going to be bothered doing that. Clunky five-way switch, which is to be expected, really. Very dry-looking fretboard, but we'll condition that, see if we can bring it back to life. Uh, string trees are a bit... Uh, crooked, so we'll straighten them up. Definitely are not going to help tune and stability. Three springs in the back, probably chuck a couple more in, get it bolted down because on a 60 pound guitar, I'm not going to be using the uh, the tremolo bar unless I want to knock it out of tune. I mean, there's probably a lot you can do to it to help, but it's just not worth it. The nuts, yeah, they could have done a better job with a nut, really. Well, I don't know, for 60 pounds, it's fine. Neck plate kind of looks bit of a weird angle. I don't know what's going on with this. There's quite a bit rattling around in there. Let's take the scratch plate off to have a look underneath. That's a good, good chunky neck actually. It's quite nice. This B string was tuned up to a D. G string's uh, C sharp. And the E string was tuned up to a G. Well, so far, the strings seem to be cut to a, to a good depth. Um, it's just there's a lot of nuts sort of above the string, and the edges need to be rounded off of the nut because they're very sort of sharp and, and square, and uh, they don't feel very comfortable. The frets themselves obviously need polishing. They feel horrible. There is no uh, sprouting or... Um, any sharp ends, which is nice. Fingerboard needs a condition in. The action is actually really good. Uh, it's a nice, I mean, it could come down a little bit, but so far it seems a lot better than the Harley Bensons that I've tried so far. So far, so far. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. The neck, there's a big gap actually. Uh, that's not too good, is it? But you can get a plectrum in the neck pocket. Never had that before, that's pretty weird. I mean, you see, like, gaps in there sometimes, but a gap between the body and the neck, that's kind of strange. Not a good sign, is it? Yeah, so this strap button is... I could probably pull it out if I really wanted to, but it's, it needs to be screwed in. Probably needs, like, a matchstick or something shoved in there, and then or a toothpick or whatever. Okay, so the headstock... I want to say it's ugly, but it's kind of got that Kramer beak sort of look to it as well, so... If I didn't associate it with that, then I'd probably say it's a pretty ugly headstock, but I've got that in my mind, so it doesn't look too bad to me. Tuners are all straight. String trees are not. The truss rod, a bit messy. Could have been um, drilled out or rattled out or whatever. Could, it could have been sanded, sanded so it's a bit smoother because it's uh, got a few like splinters kind of hanging off. It's very rough looking. Not the end of the world, but what do you expect? 60 pounds. So 60 pounds and it's an actual guitar. And that's 60 pounds with shipping. Without the shipping, this was like 55 pounds, which is what, oh, flies back. Same cost as a trip to the cinema with a few people, a couple of people, two people, or a guitar. All right, so let's have a look at the specs. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't memorized the specs. Um, I saw it, I clicked on it, I bought it. Uh, so we've gone for the sunset color, which is sunburst, which is, uh, it looks pretty good with the um, tortoiseshell pit guards. Got a Stevie Ray kind of, um, Richie Sambora thing going on. All right, let's have a look. Introductions. A good guitar should last you a lifetime. Yes. Yes, it should. Will this last a lifetime? I'm not sure. Okay, so we have 22 frets. A scale length 25 and a half inches, you would expect. Six strings, yep. All six are there. Accounted for tremolo. Now, I just don't understand why on guitars like this that they put tremolos. Like, just put a hardtail on. It's probably cheaper because you haven't got to wrap out so much of the wood. The, the bridge itself is probably cheaper and it's going to be a better guitar. It's going to stay in tune better. Like, who's going to be buying this guitar? Beginners, they're not going to know how to set up a tremolo properly. It's fiddly enough as it is. Just put a hardtail on it. Okay, body material, basswood. Neck material, maple. Fingerboard material, maple. No. 
Glory, this is not maple. Why are you trying it? Glory, this is not maple. Fretboard is not maple. Could be rosewood, doubt it. It's not maple. Glory, it's not a maple fretboard. String material, nickel plated carbon steel. Carbon? Tuning peg material, metal. Yes, that is metal. You are right, Glory. <laughs> they are metal. Nut material, plastic, uh, bridge material. <laughs> bridge material was also metal, good. I like a metal bridge. Guitar weight, six pounds. How do they, can they list the guitar weight on all? It's, it's, it's more than six pounds, but uh, maybe six and a half. And it says the package includes one guitar, one guitar bag, one strap, one tremolo bar, one, con <laughs> one connecting wire, one connecting wire, uh, one spanner tool and one plectrum, the connecting wire. I mean, it's, it's a connecting wire. Uh, again, fingerboard material, maple. Glory, why are you lying? This is not maple. Glory, come on. Okay, so that's the specs. Could be sanded slightly smoother, but it's fine. A few splinters never hurt anybody. All right, so we will plug it in, test it out, and hear the noise. Time to plug it in. Bit a mess. Oh, this polystyrene stuff is everywhere. It's just that one little break has created all this mess. I'm gonna put this Ernie Ball strap on because I'm not using the one that came with it. Because I don't have the shoulders. Oh, I have an eight year old girl. Got the man shoulders. I feel like I'm breaking something. All right, so it's plugged in, it's tuned up. Um, we'll see how long that lasts. Uh, we'll play through some clean sounds, move through the pickup positions. Um, and we'll go from there. So neck position, single coil. Position two, uh, if you call it two, I call it two, you might call it four. Let's tune up again. All right, so it is in tune, so maybe the nut is slightly too high and obviously the, well, the insulation is just all in one straight line, so that needs to obviously be uh, sorted out. But I'll play some more, uh, so position two. Okay, let's try the middle pickup. Position four. And bridge uh, pickup. We'll play some crunchy chords. That was fine. All right, I've added a little bit of delay, see if we can make it sound a little bit nicer. So far, the pickups 
they've been the worst sounding pickups I've ever heard or played in my life. So that is a problem. I was worried on previous videos that this whole setup that I'm using just made things sound a little bit better than they are. Um, so if anything, this has given me that reassurance that a bad sounding guitar will sound bad through this whole, I mean, you can't see it, it's all down by my feet, but this whole setup that I'm using. So there's that, there's a, you know, glass half full positive kind of uh, take from this, but oh, the pickups are so bad, they're thin, they're just nasty sounding and mixed with this horrible feeling uh fretboard yeah it's not fun i have tuned and stretched in these strings so many times now and oh, i just i think it's partly the strings as well they're the, these are the most disgusting strings that i've ever felt it's like cheese wire i mean i've never actually experienced cheese wire but this is how i imagine cheese wire to feel and it's, it's just oh, it's not good okay, so if anyone wants to buy a used uh, Sunburst Glary, I can sort you out a really good deal on one, just let me know. All right, let's try it with some gain. Ugh. Try rolling down the tone a little bit. How is it out of tune again? Turns out the tone control doesn't even control the bridge pickup, so it's like a vintage kind of strike. Why would they do that? Why? They'll take the edge off at least. <laughs> this is painful. All right, should we try out the tremolo? I'm sure that's gonna be loads of fun. Not as bad as I was expecting. Let's be a little bit more vigorous with it. That's the biggest surprise so far. Every string went out of tune, but like the same amount. So it was kind of relatively, it was staying in tune, but it was all like a quarter of a semitone out. Some of them more than others, the E became an F. Should we try a dive bomb just for fun? Yeah, why not? So hard to play. I'm going to be able to get this guitar playing a lot better. I know that. I know that conditioning the fretboard, rounding off the nut, doing all the things that I mentioned earlier on. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to get it sounding better, uh, playing better. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it sounding better because pickups are just so bad. And a guitar at this price point, I mean, what's the pickup going to cost? The same amount as the guitar. So it's not worth upgrading the pickups. It's the first big disappointment that I've had so far. Like the Harley Bentons I've tried have all been much more usable than this. Out of the box, some of them played worse than this, but once I got them into decent playing shape, they sounded a lot better than this. Oh, I finished the video and I realised I hadn't said this and I think it's something important just to put in here. So I'm going to slot it in here. And it's just to say that if you're a beginner and 
you probably are if you're looking at a guitar like this or you're looking at videos of guitars like this. Setups are, are not an easy thing. I know people online will say, oh, it's easy. You just, it's not. It's something that takes experience. It takes a long time to be able to set up an instrument well. And that's why people charge so much money. That's why you go somewhere and you pay 50, uh, 70 pounds, whatever, 100 pounds in some cases, depending on what they've got to do to the instrument. It's a lot of money and you're paying for the person's experience and for their time. And if you're just learning guitar, it's just learn the guitar. Don't learn, don't try and learn all this other stuff. Just spend your time practicing. It's more important than worrying about this kind of stuff. So if I were you, I would save up the extra money. I know it's a bit more, but I'd go for the Squire uh, Strat. I'd go for the Bullet. If you can save up a bit more money, go for the Affinity because you'll be much safer. Your chances of getting a much more playable guitar will be higher. But that's just, that's just what I would advise you to do if you're looking for advice. If you're not looking for advice, then just do whatever you want to do. I'm just looking at it as if I were a beginner watching a video and this kind of thing. I would want that kind of advice, I think, to put me in the right direction. Having said that, if you're somebody who's looking to improve their sort of setup skills i mean something like this this is a bit of a mess so practicing uh getting something like this set up playing really well i, I could definitely recommend it for that you'll be able to turn it into something playable invest a bit of money if you want and you'll be you'll be able to get it to probably sound decent as well i mean you might like the sound but i just think it sounds disgusting and i hope that helps i know there's tons of videos out there on glary hence the joke at the start of the video and everybody tends to give a different opinion so that's mine i will make another video on this guitar once i've set it up and once i've maybe adjusted the settings in here and to compensate for these pickups and we'll see how good we can get it to sound without changing the pickups because i think if we change the pickups and i was able to give it a setup it would be and it'll be fine you don't use this this is just ridiculous Still looks pretty cool. But nice bit of wall art, if anything. Ugh, horrible. It's hard to say whether it's that bad or if it's just the Harley Bentons that I've got recently in the same kind of price range are just so much better that I'm used to that kind of standard. So there is that. So the things I like about it. Uh, It's light, it's a really good weight. The color, the, the color looks pretty good. So if you're looking for a guitar in this kind of price range, maybe check out this video here. It's uh, a Harley Benton Telecaster type guitar. It sounds so much better than this. If you've got a Glary, I'm really sorry. Hopefully yours is a lot better than this. Hopefully this is just, just a really bad example. Or maybe you've just got much lower standards, you filthy animal. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time, hopefully with a much more positive kind of video. Goodbye.